Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to St. Eugene's Cathedral. And it's our honour and pleasure to host the 14th annual Pope John Paul II Award Ceremony for the Diocese of Derry. the Long Tower Folk Group from Derry for singing the anthem of Pope John Paul II, Open the Doors to Christ. And this award, as you know, is dedicated to Pope John Paul II, who always said that he believed in youth. And when he visited Galway back in 1979, he said that he believed in the youth of Ireland. So I invite those of you joining us online to join with me in asking Pope John Paul II to intercede for us as we pray. God our Father, Saint John Paul II tells us to trust Christ, to listen attentively to his teachings, to fix our eyes on his face, to persevere in listening to his word, to allow him to focus our search and our aspirations and all our ideas and the desires of our heart. Help us, God Father, to do this so that all the actions and decisions of our lives are done with Jesus, who is our Saviour and friend forever and ever. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Baroness alone. Bishop McKeown, distinguished guests, award recipients here present, and those participating online. This is a unique award ceremony at the end of a unique year. It's the first time in 14 years that we have had our ceremony here in St. Eugene's Cathedral, the Mother Church of the Diocese of Derry. And we regret that all of you who are watching us online cannot be present with us, but we do know that you are there with us 
from your homes, and our celebration will not be diminished, and our admiration is for you and for all that you have done. This evening, we will celebrate 301 young people from all over our diocese and beyond who will receive the reward. These young people come from 20 second level schools. They represent 43 parishes in the diocese and 13 parishes from outside the diocese. We'll also present two people with the Papal Cross Award. As I said this year, has been a very strange year for us all and also for the award. And Lizzie will talk about how the award has developed and met the challenges of our time in a short time. And even though everybody and everything was in lockdown for the year, we have had a request to begin the award now in the Archdiocese of Cardiff in Wales. So we're going beyond our own seas. And the John Paul Award continues to be the largest youth movement in the Church in Ireland. In the last 14 years, about 40,000 young people have enrolled in this award. And in our diocese, since we began, after this ceremony is complete, 5,800 young people will have received their award. So in a time when bad news is often what we hear, this continues, thank God, to be a good news story for the Church in Ireland and beyond. For the most part, it's a quiet story that's not told too loudly. However, it is powerful evidence that the Church is alive and the Church is young. And I now invite Bishop McKeown, the patron of the John Paul Award, to open this award ceremony. Thank you very much, Father Paul. Welcome to you all. It's good to see you here. I love the, the colour scheme. I sort of feel quite out of place here now, being all in black. Anyway, you know the, at least my generation, or slightly be young, younger, would know there's a large prison in Manchester, or at least they used to be called Strange Ways. And there was a long-standing joke that God must be a prison warder, because he certainly works in strange ways. Corny old joke, I know. And this year, of all years, has been very strange. It's been terribly taxing for those involved in education, whether as pupils or as staff. But it's turned out to be a marvellous year in strange ways as well. When the lockdown was first announced in the middle of March last year, not very long after we had our um, John Paul Award ceremonies in the Millennium Forum with the Archbishop of Salzburg as our guest speaker. Not long after the first lockdown, Lizzie, whom you'll hear from later on, our Pope John Paul II Award coordinator in the diocese, wondered, what can I do, she says, to support young people working in parishes because they can't get into their churches anymore because they're closed. But of course, being young, in the first half of our 20s, she knew all about the use of social media. And suddenly she developed a presence on Instagram. I said, on where? On Instagram, with up to 100 young people online with her program at 7 p.m. for a number of evenings in the week. And that all developed then into the scholarship program, and she's now on her fourth online alpha program. And by force of circumstances, not good planning on my part anyway, the diocese actually has been able to develop a strong digital outreach that never stopped as soon as the first lockdown started over a year ago. <clears throat> and I suppose the other side of the coin is there's been a marvellous level of, of response. I felt a little bit like the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the early church of the Acts of the Apostles. They weren't sure where they were going, but they were prepared to be led and to discover that God's way can be really strange, but remarkably fruit-bearing. So that actually we have discovered is a body of wonderful young people out there who want to be fed with community and a faith journey. They want to be able to ask deep and awkward questions and to put out into the deep. And they want to be nourished with Christ's teaching and not just with spiritual junk food or warm, fuzzy feelings and a few jokes. So this evening we find ourselves in a different environment from where we normally are. We gather with many online 
in a building that's developed a sort of monastic timetable here over this past number of months, a monastic timetable of regular prayer throughout the day. So, in these strange times, we thank God for what's been achieved that we had not planned. We're especially blessed by the wonderful young people who have been so engaged, dragging us, our fogies, into a whole new environment. And in the young man, Jesus, God is always young. So it's our young people who will remake the church with their idealism and their generosity. Yes, God works in strange ways. And for those strange ways, we give thanks tonight. It's exactly what Pope John Paul II would want us to celebrate tonight and every other night. Thank you, Bishop McKeown, and has been referenced twice already. Now we're going to have Lizzie coming forward, who is our youth coordinator, and she's going to tell you the story of the award last year. And to help her in telling the story, we have Peter Grant from the parish of Iskaheen and Upper Moville, who attends Moville Community College. Eleanor Gray from the parish of Balness Green, who attends St. Columns High School in Draperstown. Maria Thompson from the parish of Drum Quinn, who attends Loretto College Oma. And Dervla McMenamin from the parish of Lake Patrick, who attends Thornhill College. Hello, everyone. Thanks, Father Paul. Um, delighted to be able to talk to you all tonight and delighted to actually see you all here. Um, especially past your shoulders, because that's what I've been used to seeing for the last year, as everybody just their faces on Zoom. So I'm delighted to be talking to you all tonight. As we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic has changed our world in ways we never thought possible. This is also the case with the John Paul II Award. But this year has really shown me and others in the diocese that our young people are very resilient and whatever is what I, from whatever is thrown at them. I'm sure you are all aware of that, teachers and parents, who have had to deal with all this as well throughout the last year. Some of our very organised young people had their hours finished before we went into lockdown, but I'm being honest, most did not. Um, the desire to continue their work through the pandemic showed when we put a full course online. The young people engaged with all our social media and even asked for further content like the Alpha course or book clubs or social, social justice projects. With lots of work from our youth ministry team, our parish workers and volunteers, a full programme was created. If you were to tell me this last March that this is what we'd be doing and how many young people would get involved, I never would have believed you. These programmes would not exist without the work from our parish workers and the award would not run without the great work from all our school leaders. So thank you for answering all my emails and my phone calls and keeping in touch when I know you were all so busy. This year and the engagement we had would not be possible without our young people. So to everyone here tonight and everybody watching online, I would like to thank you for coming on every Monday night and watching our lives, taking the initiative, although scary, and joining our Alpha and other programmes. It has been a privilege to get to know you all and spend time with you all online. You have done your award in the hardest year possible, so well done to you all. And thank you for showing what is possible when faced with a challenge. You took this year and made it wonderful, full of enthusiasm and full of friendship. Before we move on to what the young people have to say, um, I'm just going to finish with a quote from Pope Francis that basically sums up our year and sums up the young people in our diocese. So this is from his letter to the young people in Christus Vivit. He says, Dear young people, my joyful hope is to see you keep running the race before you, outstripping all those who are slow or fearful. Keep running, attracted by the face of Christ, whom we love so much, whom we adore in the Holy Eucharist and acknowledge in the flesh of our suffering brothers and sisters. May the Holy Spirit urge you on as you run this race. The church needs your, the church needs your momentum, your intuitions, your faith. We need them. And when you arrive, where we have not yet reached, have the patience to wait for us. So we're going to continue this conversation and we're going to talk to four of our amazing young people who I'm sure are buzzing to talk to you all. 
um, and they're all going to introduce themselves and their parish. Well, the Father Paul's kind of done that. So I'm going to go in and ask you what he's did for your activities and to gain your award. So, Eleanor, would you like to start us off? Um, so, my name's Eleanor and I go to St Columns High School in Doberstown and my parish is Bama Screen. Um, for my parish hours, I sang in my local parish choir and read at Mass and then for my social hours, I volunteered at a local music traditional group. Amazing. Because you're a singer. That's yeah. fantastic. So, we're going on to our TikTok famous star, Peter. Would you like to tell <laughs> us all about the stuff that you did throughout your award? So hello everyone, uh, my name is Peter Grant. I attend Vault Community College and I am from the parish of Eskeen and Open Vault. So my, for my parish hours, I, I, done, I went to Mass every Sunday, so I did. I done reading, I done the collection, and I also organised the, the Overture, and especially involved the young people, so I did, because I didn't want to let them feel left out of Mass. And in my community work, I've done a whole week of work in my community work, actually, um, like help out in my local football club and actually help out in community events. But the one thing that kind of stood out for me during my community work was being a tour guide during the Follow the Star event, as before COVID. Um, it was held every year, so it was, which I suppose, I suppose it was a Christmas event for all young people, so it was especially for young families as well to come and attend. And they walked around the garden and they went around in the huts. And in, in, in each hut, um, there was, I suppose, I suppose a significant, there were stories of significant um, symbolic Christmas stories like the candy cane and the story of Santa. And then, and then at the end then, people would come over to the oratory where they seen the finale, so it was, which was a huge event. And at the end, and they would come over to the uh, East Centre then where they socialised and had a bit of crack, really. So that was my experience so of... That was your highlight, yep. was it? Follow was. the star. That's fantastic, yep. Peter. Um, Maria, would you say that you find in the award during the pandemic, pandemic was a bit difficult, or what did you do for your award? Um, my name is Maria Thompson, and I go to Laredo Grammar School Loma. My parish is Langfield Parish, John Quinn. For my award, the community activities which I completed were volunteering in my local youth club, peer mentoring and being a faith friend to younger students in a confirmation class in a local primary school. My parish activities included assisting in the Advent and Lenten liturgy for Holy Communion children, environmental work, altar serving and becoming a Eucharistic minister. Completing the Pope John Paul II awards during the pandemic undoubtedly presented many challenges, forcing everyone to devise new ideas and ways to ensure the good work could still be done. But for me, Pope Francis' words of challenges exist to be overcome remain the forefront of my mind, encouraging me to complete my parish and social involvement. Fortunately, I had many of my hours completed prior to the onset of the pandemic, which helped me considerably. However, during church, school and youth club closure, I completed my hours by posing ideas and plans of how my parish could become more environmentally friendly. This included encouraging paper and reusable bags instead of plastic bags in a local shop, better use of recycling bins, and I also got involved in a community litter pick. Also, before the pandemic, I volunteered as a peer mentor, helping younger students in maths and science. And so I continue this peer mentoring, however, took an online approach. Fantastic, thank you. Sarah Vla, would you like to tell us just what was your highlight of the award and what you enjoyed the most? My name is Deborah McManaman and my parish is like Patrick Parish. Uh, I go to Thornhill College and I've been completing the award. Um, Sorry, what was the question again? The question was, uh, what was your highlight from the award? What did you enjoy the most? Um, my highlight was the stay awake, sleep out event that I took part right here in the cathedral. Um, and I just thought it was really interesting because it kind of forces you to have these deep conversations with other young people around you. Um, there wasn't that many other cases in a year like this where you've been in a space with so many other people. Um, and it was really, I really enjoyed it. And it was great to learn about homelessness and how it affects people in society. And it can, it can affect just anyone. So I think I gained a sense of empathy from it as well. Thank you. I'm glad you like staying up all night there, Val. That's <laughs> fantastic. So guys, is there anything else you would like to say about the award before we finish? Or are you just desperate? stage. He's all good. Well, thank you very much and we appreciate all the work that he's done throughout your award. Thank you.
Thank you, Anne-Marie and Lizzie, and thank you, Peter, Eleanor, Maria, and Dervla. And now we have come to the main part of the evening, the presentation of the awards. And each school who is here represented this evening will receive their awards and medals, and they will be presented to a representative student from the school, representing everybody else, and also their award leader or someone nominated in their place. So I now invite Bishop McKeown to come forward to present the medals and Tony Brennan, who is the National Coordinator of the John Paul Award, to present the certificates. And Yvonne and myself will go through all the schools. And so the first school we go to is next door to the centre of the world. John Manny being the centre of the world, so we go to Carindona Community School. And presenting or accepting all the awards is Kerry McDade, who herself received the Gold Award from Mallon. And Kerry is receiving the award for Emmett Doherty, Gold Carndona, Hannah Fiorentini, Gold Moville, Anya McKinney, Gold Carndona, Lauren McLaughlin, Gold Mallon, Sierla McNeil, Gold Carndona, and Mary Kate Mullen, Gold Mallon and Serena Doherty accepts the certificate as the award leader. If we could give Karen Dona a clap. And so next we move to Christian Brothers in Oma and accepting the awards on behalf of the following is Maria Thompson. And so accepting for Cahill Bradley, Gold from Ardstraw East, for Stephen Colgan, Bronze from Drumrath, for Kevin Harkin, Gold from Bodoni Upper, Donal Kelly, Gold from Drumrath, Ronan Kelly, Gold Drumrath, Tristan Kelly, Gold Kappa, Jamie Lard, Bronze Drumrath, Oshin Lynch, Gold Ahe Arn, Patrick McCabe, Gold Berra, 
Malachi McCurney Gold Drum Ra, Keelan McCluskey Gold Kappa, Gareth McChrystal Gold Drum Ra, Sean McGovern Gold Kappa, Connor McGuigan Gold Drum Ra, Connor McIver Gold Art Straw East, Mark McQuaid Silver Devish, Sean Monan Gold Drum Ra, Oshin Murphy Silver Drum Ra, and Aaron O'Hagan Gold Kappa. Now we go to Holy Cross College in Straban, and Holly Fristel, who received gold in the parish of Melmount, will accept the awards for the school. And that's Leanne Delaney, Gold Lake Patrick, Leah Haran, Silver Melmount, Dervla Leonard, Gold Camus, Rebecca McConnell, Gold Melmount, Kate McCrory, Silver Melmount, Oren McGrath, Gold Melmount, Nia McGuire, Gold Cyan Mills. Kiva Malach, Gold Camus, Holly Monteith, Silver Melmount, Eva Neeson, Gold Camus, and Anya Nureachan, Gold Melmount. And the award leader is Brona Mullen, who will receive the certificate. And now we go to Loretta College, Coleraine. And Maria McDevitt is collecting the awards for Dervla Bradley, Gold Ergal, Caitlin Campbell, Gold Kilray, Kiva Campbell, Gold Kilray, Nisha Coyle, Gold Banagher, Katie Heaney, Gold Ergal, Connor McAleish, Gold Dunloy and Clock Mills, Neve McAllister, Gold Colrain, Maria McDevitt, Gold McGilligan, Orla McGowan, Gold Colrain, Matthew McGowan, Gold Colrain, Maria McMora, Gold Port Stewart, Raina McNichol, Gold Limavadi, Oshin Mulhern, Gold Dungiven, Keelan O'Kean, Gold Colrain, Benvola O'Labi, Gold, the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and Grania Purcell, Gold Colrain, and the award leader, Julie Kilbraith. Now we go to the Loretto Grammar School in Oma, and Gronya Campbell, who received gold from Donahidi, accepts the awards on behalf of the school. And Anna Coyle, Silver Badoni Upper, Aoife Daly, Gold Gorchen, Kira Diamond, Gold Drum Ra, Neve Farley, Gold Kappa, Alana Gallagher, Gold Terman McGurk, Cleana Gallagher, Gold Melmount, Siobhan Gordon, Gold Terman McGurk, Maria Kennedy, Gold Badoni Upper, Maura Kirk, Silver Badoni Upper, Orla Lochran, Silver Drum Ra, Neve McEnany, Gold Drum Ra, Kira McCann, Gold Berra, Ellen McGurr, Silver Kappa, Sorka Mullen, Silver Berra, Alicia Quinn, Gold Erigal Kiern, Ella Quinn, Gold Drum Ra, Ursula Scallon, Gold Gorchen, and Maria Thompson, Gold Drum Quinn, and Kevin Conroy is the award leader and receives the certificate. And next we move to Lumen Christie College, and Hugh Doohan is receiving the awards on behalf of Christina Clifford, Gold Three Patrons, Hugh Doohan, Gold Three Patrons, Sarah Ferguson, Gold, Fauchon Vale and Lower Cumber. Arela Flood, Gold, St Eugene's. Robert Henderson, Gold, Fauchon Vale and Lower Cumber. Evie Hull, Gold, Fauchon Vale and Lower Cumber. Oren Kelly, Gold, Holy Family. Liam McCallion, Gold, Kilmore. Orla McCo, Gold, Fauchon Vale and Lower Cumber. Stephanie Merrigan, Gold, Craigan. Connie O'Brien, Gold St Eugene's, and Neve Rankin, Gold Three Patrons, and the award leader, Stephen Doherty. Now 
Now we go to Moville Community College and Amy McAuliffe, who will receive gold from Moville, will accept the awards for the school. That is for Fanula de Bruyne, gold, Esquihin and Upper Moville, Peter Grant, gold, Esquihin and Upper Moville, Shakira McCallion, gold, Esquihin and Upper Moville, and Kayleigh Sweeney, gold, Esquihin and Upper Moville. And the award leader is Tom McCabe. And next is from the parish of Banagher, Leah Taylor Gold from Banagher Parish, and her award leader, Marion Murphy. And from the parish of Glendermot, Anna Maria Anthony Gold from Glendermot and the award leader Robin Whitehouse. And now we go to Sacred Heart College in Oma and Sinead Grimes, who received gold from the parish of Berra, will accept the awards. For Sophie Lee Armstrong, Silver Kappa, Sinead Bogle, Gold Drum Ra, Emma Rose Bradley, Gold Drum Ra, Cora Cox, Gold Kappa, Aoife McDade, Bronze Kappa, Maeve McSorley, Gold Drum Ra, Cormac Mullen, Gold Drum Quinn, and Cara O'Hagan, Gold Drum Ra. And Anne Cullinan, the award leader, receives the certificate. And now we move to School Wara in Bonkrana and Neve O'Hagan, Gold, Eskaheen and Upper Moville, receiving the awards on behalf of Kira Barrett, Gold, Bonkrana, Lisa Brennan, Gold, Eskaheen and Upper Moville, Rory Coleman, Gold, Bonkrana, Gemma Davis, Gold, Bonkrana, Sophia Dehan, Gold, Bert Inch and Fawn, Stella Devlin, Gold, Bonkrana, Jennifer Doherty, Gold Boncrana, Caitlin Rose Doherty, Gold Boncrana, Paige Ferguson, Papal Cross Boncrana, Shewan Laverty, Gold Iskaheen and Upper Moville, Aoife McGovern, Papal Cross Boncrana, Leanne O'Donnell, Gold Boncrana, Amber Sweeney, Gold Boncrana, and the award leader, Edel O'Connor. Now we go to St Bridget's College in Cairn Hill and Matthew Doherty receives gold from the three patrons and accepts the awards also for Brandon Harkin, gold, three patrons, and Owen McCluskey, gold, three patrons, and Shauna Sharkey receives the certificate. And now from Cecilia's College in Derry, Orla Morris, Gold from Ardmore and accepting the awards for Sarah Ball, Gold, Holy Family, Chloe Curran, Gold, Steelstown, Caitlin Doherty, Gold, Long Tower, Kersha Dyer, Gold, Glendermott, Ava Ferguson, Gold, Bert Inch and Fawn, Kira Harvard, Gold, Dungiven, Ella Kennedy, Gold, Steelstown, Kate McCarran, Gold, Glendermott, Anna McElhenney, Gold Glen Dermot, Erin McKeon, Gold Long Tower, Ellie Meehan, Gold Long Tower, Kayla Moore, Gold Long Tower, Anya Robinson, Gold Long Tower, Sarah Tolan, Gold Long Tower, Riley Whitehouse, Gold Glen Dermot, and Leah Wilson, Gold Long Tower, and their award leader, Jennifer Kearney. Now we go to St Columns High School in Draperstown and Maeve McLaughlin, who received gold from the parish of Desert Martin, 
receives the awards on her own behalf and on behalf of Kiva Connolly Gold Balna Screen, Elise Connolly Gold Balna Screen, Jack Conway Gold Balna Screen, Elaine Doyle Gold Balna Screen, Ella Doyle Gold Balna Screen, John Glass Gold Mahara, Eleanor Gray Gold Balna Screen, Kiva Kelly Gold Desert Martin, Sarah Kelly Gold Balna Screen, Keegan Kidd Gold Balna Screen, Sarah Lagan Gold Balna Screen, Chloe McGuigan Gold Balna Screen, Rose McGuigan Gold Balna Screen, Finn McMahon Gold Balna Screen, Amy O'Kane Gold Balna Screen, Dervlo O'Neill Gold Desert Martin, and Orla O'Neill Gold Desert Martin. The award leader is Dumpna Shields. And now we go to St Collins College and Liam Dunn, Gold Three Patrons, and accepting the award for Shimas Coyle, Gold Glen Dermot, Oren Curley, Gold Fahun Vale and Lower Cumber, Ethan Doherty, Gold Culmore, Connor Gallagher, Gold Steelstown, Donica Gilmore, Gold St Eugene, Owen Hughes, Gold Fahun Vale and Lower Cumber, Ackle Jolly, Gold Glen Dermot, John Joseph Gold Glendermot, Adam Leg Silver Colmore, Tom Martin Gold Glendermot, Aidan McGarvey Gold St Eugene's, Aidan O'Doherty Gold Three Patrons, Ben O'Kean Bronze Banagher, Eric O'Kean Bronze St Eugene's, and Owen O'Neill Gold Glendermot, and the award leader Paul McGarry. And now we go to St Connors College and Shannon Bradley, who receives silver from Kilray, will accept the awards for Neve Bradley Silver Swatra, Oshin Bradley Gold Kilray, Oren Canning Gold Erigal, Cora Gibson Gold Kilray, Emma Harkin Gold Claddy, Kiva Hassan Silver Risharkin, Cara Heaney Silver Green Loch. Ryan Maguire, Gold, Dunloy and Clough Mills, Sinead McAtamney, Gold, Port Glenowen, Una McCloy, Gold, Swatra, Caitlin McGuigan, Gold, Swatra, Rebecca McKeown, Silver, Risharkin, Shea McPeak, Gold, Green Loch, Chloe O'Neill, Silver, Green Loch, Rhiannon Reid, Gold, Kilray, and Claire Riley, Gold, Risharkin, and Grania McCallion, the award leader. And now we go to St Joseph's Boys School, and Matthew Devine is receiving the gold award from St Eugene's, and his award leader, Avine Shields. Now to St Mary's College in Derry and Abby McDermott receiving gold from St Eugene's and also on behalf of Maya Boyle Gold Holy Family, Grania Breslin Stuart Bronze St Eugene's, Maya Caffery Gold St Steelstown, Brian Douglas Gold Three Patrons, Neve Green Bronze Holy Family, Holly Harkin Gold Three Patrons, Amy Loch Bronze Three Patrons, Enya McDermott, Gold St Eugene's, Caitlin McFadden, Bronze St Eugene's, Holly Ella McLaughlin, Gold Long Tower, Kira Quinn, Bronze Long Tower, Caitlin Sharon, Bronze Holy Family, Maeve Stillman, Silver St Eugene's, and Ava Tracy, Bronze Holy Family, and their award leader, Lynn Kelly. Now we go to St Mary's Lamavadi and Joshua O'Neill, who has received gold from the parish of Erigal, receives the awards. Also for Ethan Kane, Bronze Lamavadi, Amy McCall, Silver Lamavadi, Finn McGurk, Bronze Lamavadi, Megan McElroy, Gold Lamavadi, 
Aoife McLean, Bronze Limavadi, Chloe McNulty, Gold Limavadi, Ellie Mae Robinson, Gold Limavadi, Matthew Smith, Gold Limavadi, and Thomas Young, Bronze, Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber, and Sean Mullen accepts the award leader certificate. And now we move to St Patrick's College in Dungiven, and Kerry Lee Mullen receives a gold award from Dungiven, and also for Simon Bukowski, gold Dungiven, Michael McGilligan, gold Dungiven, Jack McGonagall, gold Dungiven, and Corey O'Connor, gold Dungiven, and their award leader, Marion Murphy. Now we go to St. Patrick's College in Mahara, and receiving the award will be Cleana Hughes, who receives silver from Clono, and she receives the award on behalf of Katie Doherty, Gold Balahi, Fabiana Falkite, Silver Mahara, Saffron Griven, Silver Balahi, Aaron McElhenney, Gold Dungiven, Maeve McGilligan, Silver Mahara, Nia McNichol, Gold Kilray, Emer Mullen, Gold Erigal, Darcy O'Neill, Gold Dungiven, Katie Quigg, Gold Swatra, Caitlin Tohill, Gold Swatra, and Kiva Tohill, Gold Swatra, and Lisa McConville receives the award leader certificate. And now we go to Thornhill College and Taylor Brown receiving gold from three patrons and also for Molly Brown, gold Holy Family, Darcy Burns, gold Culmore, Neve Butler, gold Steelstown, Ellie Carlin, gold Glendermot, Eva Cassidy, gold Glendermot, Cara Clifford, silver three patrons, Emily Cook, gold Vaughan Vale and Lower Cumber, Hannah Cook, Gold, Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber, Tara Courtney, Gold, Glendermot, Holly Coyle, Gold, Glendermot, Eva Crossan, Gold, Calais, Ellen Doherty, Silver, Steelstown, Evie Doherty, Gold, Three Patrons, Hannah Doherty, Gold, Steelstown, Leah Doherty, Gold, St Eugene's, Kerry Donaghy, Gold, Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber, Neve Donaghy, Gold, Cumber Upper and Learmount, Kirsty Doran, Gold, Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber, Lauren Duffy, Gold, Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber, Holly Edgar, Gold, St Eugene's, Erin Ann Ferry, Gold, Glendermot, Grace Flynn Page, Gold, Culmore, Lucia Fraser, Gold, Glendermot, Evelyn Gallen, Gold, Glendermot, Leah George, Gold, Glendermot, Naya Griffin, Gold, Newton Cunningham, Clara Hall, Gold Steelstown, Kate Harkin, Gold Steelstown, Kiva Harvey, Gold Melmount, Tarek Healy, Gold Long Tower, Eva Hudson, Gold Glendermot, Erin Kelly, Silver Glendermot, Anna Kirby, Bronze Culmore, Neve Lamour, Gold Ardmore, Rachel Logue, Gold Glendermot, Rebecca Logue, Gold Glendermot, Robin Logue, Silver, Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber, Ellie Marshall, Gold, Culmore, Elish Matthews, Gold, Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber, Raina McCallion, Silver, Three Patrons, Neve McKellen, Gold, Glendermot, Ellen McCluskey, Gold, Cumber Upper and Learmount, Orla McCaulgan, Gold, Steelstown, Molly McConnellogue, Silver, Steelstown, Chrissy McCormick, Bronze Culmore, Ashley McDade, Gold Holy Family, Cara McFadden, Silver Culmore, Hannah McGinley, Gold Steelstown, Anna McGlinchey, Gold Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber, Dervla McMenahan, Gold Lake Patrick, Caitlin Moore, Silver Banagher, Jessica Moore, Silver Three Patrons, Neve Moore, Gold Ardmore, Ashley Mortimer Gold, Cumber Upper and Learmount, Rachel Nash, Silver Three Patrons, 
Grace Norris, Gold, Fahon Vale and Lower Cumber. Maya O'Brien, Gold, Newton. Kira O'Doherty, Gold, Three Patrons. Grania O'Doherty, Gold, Glendermot. Rebecca O'Doherty, Gold, Craigan. Rosie O'Donnell, Gold, Glendermot. Anna O'Hagan, Gold, Culmore. Quinn Mary Pascoe, Gold, Glendermot. Kelly Payne, Gold, Holy Family. Ella Quigley, Gold, Holy Family. Hannah Quinn, Gold, Steelstown. Alina Rajivan, Gold, Glendermot. Chloe Riley, Gold, Banagher. Amy Stevenson, Bronze, Banagher. Jenny Stewart, Gold, Culmore. And Ruby Sturgeon, Gold, Cumber Upper and Learmount. And the award leader for Thornhill, Emer Lynch. And so we congratulate the 301 young people throughout the diocese who did the impossible and they managed to do the award uh, in the year of pandemic. You will be unique with the help of God and his Holy Mother. So we congratulate you again. Now we await our keynote speaker, Baroness Nula Olone, and Baroness Olone is a member of the House of Lords, and she was the first police ombudsman, and she has chairs many committees and many inquiries, and she's a leading voice in the Catholic Church in Ireland and beyond, and she works in many different ways in our country and she is a wonderful leader in the church and we're very proud to have her and we hope that she's coming soon. As you know, sometimes we can underestimate the courage that it takes to be a Catholic voice in our society today. She, Nuala, writes as a columnist in the Irish Catholic, and she takes on very difficult issues, and she speaks with great authority on the issues that she takes on, and she uh, is someone who speaks from the heart of faith. She has lived her faith, and she continues to do it, and it is a struggle, I have no doubt at times, to tell the truth in very powerful situations where the truth is not welcome. And so we hope that she will speak to us this evening too. is just feeling unwell at the moment, but she is going to come and speak to us. Um, but while we wait, Anne Marie is going to sing another song with Lizzie. <laughs> you see, when the lockdown started, we didn't know what to do, so we did everything we could. And this is the same thing, you just improvise, and you really don't want me to sing. <laughs> we could take requests. It's terrible. We have a wonder. Not saying that Amory and Lizzie aren't wonderful singers, but we have a wonderful singer waiting on the wings too at the end. But we want to wait. So am I in the way now?
We'll just say a wee prayer now in the form of a song. And uh, we'll ask Our Lady of Knock to help us all this evening. There were people of all ages gathered round the gable wall, poor and humble men and women, little children that you call. We are gathered here before you, and our hearts are just the same. As we praise your name, old and most, Queen of Ireland, all my cares and troubles cease as I Beautiful, hey? It was gorgeous. Good evening, Bishop Donald, Father Paul, Lizzie, Anne Marie, everyone. I'm delighted to be with you this evening on this lovely occasion as you receive your hard earned John Paul II awards. We're still in COVID days, and I'm really sorry that you can't all be with us here in the cathedral tonight, but you are with us virtually. And that's one of the joys of the things that have come to us during the last year. It seems to me wonderful that those across the world can make their way into the cathedral by way of the web. Especially, I guess, the people who grew up here and for whom this is, I'm sure, still home, no matter where they be. I think the last occasion I was with the recipients of John Paul II Awards was in 2017, when there was a big John Paul II Award pilgrimage to Rome, it was wonderful. And it was one of those times when you marvel at the many accomplishments, but particularly the musical accomplishments of young people. It was a very happy occasion. And tonight's another of those wonderful nights. And I know we're going to enjoy even more lovely music soon. So thank you all for that. Tonight, I think over 300 of you have received your awards. What a wonderful thing. Since its earliest days, I have thought that this wonderful scheme, with the opportunities it brings you to deepen your relationship with the Lord, to understand your faith even more, and to understand what live faith is about, is profoundly important. And that's what I want to say a word to you about tonight. 
When I was your age, I was educated by the nuns, and their message to us was as relevant to you as it was to us all those years ago. It was very simple. Be yourself, but make that self all that God wants it to be. You've done enormously well to complete this award during the COVID period, and I'm sure it was difficult for you. I know that many of those with whom you love might think that you live on your tablets and your phones and things like that, but you must have missed the opportunity to gather with your friends, to share what's going on, to feel their hugs of happiness and their hugs of support when days were a bit harder. It's no accident that God made us to live in community. We're made for it and we're energized by much of our interaction with others. I'm sure that doing this award has brought you new friends with whom you share a common faith and an understanding of what you're called to be and to do. And I think that's very important. It's important that we recognize the need for each one of you to be yourself with all your skills and talents, which you're called to use in the service of the Lord who made you. You have another challenge too. That's to develop those skills and to listen to the Lord and to discern what it is that he wants you to be and to do in this world. Life can be very strange, as I'm sure you all know. Despite the best efforts of those who love you, you will encounter problems and challenges, some small and easily resolved, some harder and maybe some very hard. But at all those times, you can place the burden in the hands of the Lord and ask our blessed Mother Mary to watch over and care for those whom we love, but maybe can no longer see. I don't want to be gloomy, but I do want you to know that even when life seems impossible, it never really is. I want you to know that God loves you and that he walks you with you in your happiness today and in the darker days which will you will know, because that's life, isn't it? Remember always that you're loved and you're never alone, even when you don't do it, don't know it. When I was your age, I, I learned the words of Micah. This is what the Lord asks of you, that you act justly, love tenderly and walk humbly with your Lord. You know where there's injustice, there really can't be peace. Injustice can prevail at any stage of our lives. To act justly is to do what is right. And sometimes that takes courage. And sometimes, like me, you'll be a bit afraid. I've been afraid on many occasions, especially in my public life. You can know that what you're going to do isn't popular, that it will attract derision. Even when I was fighting in the Lord's, to try and provide proper mites of conscience for medics and nurses, not to have to engage with light limiting procedures like abortion and the proposals for assisted suicide. They told me that I had no compassion, that I didn't care about real life, that I'm naive, that I'm trying to prevent Northern Ireland from coming into the real world. Yet the battles which I fight are profoundly important, and you will fight important battles too. We have to love tenderly and walk humbly too. Not words we hear often, tenderly and humbly, but they are the essence of what really is love. They require of us that we put the other first, even when we don't like the other, when they have treated us badly. Do you know those days when you just feel you can't cope? It's about giving our all for others as Jesus did for us. And when we do it, even reluctantly, we will not be alone. In others, we know and see Christ, for he lives in each one of us, even me. You may be uncertain what life holds for you, what you will do. If that is the case, and it's often the case for me, then I would ask you to listen to these words of prayer and to take them away with you and to ponder on them. My Lord God, I have no idea where I'm going. 
I do not see the road ahead of me. I can't know for certain where it will end. I don't really know myself. And the fact that I think I'm doing your will doesn't mean I'm actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope that I desire that in everything I do. I know if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, though I may know nothing about it. Therefore will I trust you always. Although I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death, I will not fear. For you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. So my message to you tonight is, know that you will never be alone. God has been with you on this journey to this happy night. You have done well. Everyone is proud of you and happy for you. Be happy, be at peace, and do whatever God asks you with courage, because you will be able to do it, even when you're afraid. So God bless you, and thank you for listening to me. Thank Nula. As you can see, she's a powerful and determined woman, and we are blessed to have her here. So we thank her again. <laughs> Dorda was supposed to present this picture to her, but we'll get the picture to her in time. And so we've come nearly to the end of our evening, and I just want to thank. Uh, a number of people, obviously Baroness Nula Olone for coming here tonight. Uh, we thank Bishop McCone for his leadership in the award and for all his leadership in this diocese. We thank the Pope John Paul II Award Committee. I want to thank Anne-Marie Hickey and Lizzie Rhea, Rhea and Yvonne Rooney uh, and, the, and everybody in the Catechetical Centre for organising all about the award on our side. We thank Tony Brennan, the national coordinator of the award. This year we thank Neve McLaughlin, who worked a lot with Lizzie throughout the year. Uh, we thank those who read the presentations, and every presentation is read, and every presentation is commented on, as you know from the letter that you receive. We want to thank the schools and thank you for coming this evening and the award leaders in the schools. And we want to thank as well the priests and people in all the parishes who are facilitating the award because it's because of you that we can do this. And we thank the parents for enabling the award to happen as well. And most of all, we want to thank you, the young people, because you keep enrolling and we'll keep doing it, but we need you to enroll. And we had two people getting the Papal Cross Award uh, tonight, and any of you can uh, do the Papal Cross, and I would encourage you to do it. And also you heard the Bishop and Lizzie speak about the diocesan scholarship, and please do uh, enroll in that as well, and you'll get a youth qualification, and you'll have wonderful experience. Anybody wants to join the Derry Youth Community, you can do that too, and you can contact us for that. If you would like a photograph at the end with the bishop and your group that are here, please stay. But so that's the formal part of the evening over, but we have another very special treat this evening. And I would say it's thank God for COVID, because if it hadn't been for COVID, this man would probably be away singing in a hall that's full of people. So we got him here and it was very kind of him to come. So I hope you enjoy Derek Ryan and thank you for coming. Good evening, everybody. It's lovely to be here. This is a song I wrote a few years back, and it was especially requested for tonight. And it has a nice message. It's one called Just a Little Love. Just a little love, love just a little love. Just a little love, love just a little love. If you see a 
Lifestyle Not been to his name My shoes on his feet He begs for money So he can't live What he really means But the cost not thing he can Just a little love Just a little love Just a little love Just a little love just a little kindness But things get the girl Just a little love Love, love to change the world If you have a friend There will be Much too proud To cry to you Cause there ain't no You understand and you hear it's the need of me A helping hand Just a little love Just a little love Just a little love Just a little love Just a little kindness But things get good Just a little love Love, love Change the world So fast, we're ready to stand. But we're so busy, sometimes we forget that we're never too rich, never too pretty, never too old to care. Just a little love, just a little love, just a little love. I know 
Thank you for having me here tonight. It's lovely to be singing anywhere these days. But, uh, thank you very much for having me. And big congratulations to everybody who received the award tonight uh, who's here and everybody at home as well who's watching. I'm going to finish up with this song, one of my favourite gospel songs. If you know this one, sing along. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I'm so Jesus came back straight to you Praise the Lord, I saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light No more darkness, no more light Live out of soul, no sorrow inside Praise the Lord, I saw the light you just like a man, I will build a lot Worries and fears I can't survive And they're like a blind man, they got me back inside Praise the Lord, I saw the light all the time Oh, I saw the light, I saw the light No more darkness, no more well, now I'm so happy, no sorrow, no sorrow. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for this one, I'd like to see everybody on their feet, so everybody standing all the way down the line. Let's see. May the circle be unbroken. Bye.
I saw the light. 